Hi, my name is Will. I'm with CFM Distributors out of Kansas City, Missouri, Technical Service Department. Today we're going to be discussing a control board used in the commercial product line. This control board is used in the commercial product line from 3 to 50 tons. This controller is known as the SSE Control Board, which stands for Simplicity Smart Equipment. We're going to start by turning the system on. Upon initial power up of the system, you'll see Johnson Controls JCI. The screen will stay on, on there for a few seconds and then it'll become, uh, then the system will begin a 120 second countdown. The 120 second countdown cannot be sped up. Once the 120 second countdown has ended, a five minute anti short cycle time delay will be initiated. This will prevent compressor and heating operation for about five minutes. In order to bypass the startup delay, you simply press and hold the cancel button for about five seconds. Once you release the cancel button, it will ask you if you want to cancel timers. Release and press the enter button one time. Now, my compressor anti-short cycle time delay has been bypassed. Specifically, what we're going to talk about at this point is how to do a backup. A backup would need to be done on a control board if a system control board was determined it needed to be replaced. If a control board needed to be replaced, um, you would need to do a backup. What a backup does is a backup takes the files from the control board and places them, exports them, onto a flash drive. A flash drive is similar to the one shown here. A flash drive will be installed on the control board at this location. The cancel button enter button and joystick can be used to navigate through the control board. The cancel button is a back button or a home button. If I press the cancel button it will take me to the home screen. The joystick can be pushed down, left, up, or to the right. I will take the USB drive and I will install it into the control board. If the flash drive has been read successfully you'll see USB OK and then scan a number in your case, the scan number may be different than mine here. I'm going to press the down button on the controller until my cursor gets next to an option called update. My cursor is now next to update. I'm going to press the enter button one time. My options in update are view version, load firmware, backup, restore, full clone, partial clone, factory defaults, time, export, trending data. In this case, I'm going to do a backup. A backup would be performed if a system control board determined it needed to be replaced. So if you had called into technical support and we determined that the control board was bad, we would ask you to do a backup of the system before replacing the control board. When your cursor is next to backup, press the enter button one time. At this point, you'll see a backup wait and an estimated time of completion. This usually doesn't take very long. Wait until the screen says backup OK or backup complete. At that point, you should be able to remove the flash drive, place the flash drive back into the control board, and it should read USB OK scan a number. That number should be one higher than the first time you place the front flash drive into the control board. That means that the seventh file in this case has been saved successfully to the control board. At this point you can see that it says BKP standing for backup OK is at a 100% and it has successfully backed up. So at this point I'm going to return to my home menu by pressing the cancel button multiple times. One, two, now I'm back at my home screen where it says idle. I have no calls for heating, no calls for cooling. I'm going to remove my flash drive and I'm going to place my flash drive back into the control board to make sure that I've successfully created a backup file. Earlier it said backup USB OK 6. When I place the flash drive back into the control board it should increase by one number. Scan 7. So I know I've successfully done a backup on this system. At this point, I'm going to scroll back down to update. After replacing my outdoor unit control board, 
or my main logic board of the system. I'm going to go down to update. Remember, the replacement control boards are not aware of what system they're being installed in. They're not aware of how many stages of cooling, how many stages of heating, what, time, uh, what type of fan control is being used, nor anything else. So this will take the unit back to the way that the old board was configured. Cursor's next update. I'm going to press the enter button. I'm going to scroll down until I get to a restore. My cursor is now next to restore. I'm going to press the enter button. The first file in the backup, so there's multiple files here, the highest file is going to be the most recent backup. So if you just performed a backup successfully, that backup should be located at the top of your list. In most cases on a field unit, you're going to see a serial number shown here, starting with an N, one followed by a letter and a number. That would uh, let you know that the unit that you backed up uh, is the correct unit with the cursor next to it. So be sure that your serial number represented in the line next to the cursor matches the serial number of the unit you're working on. In this case, since this is a trainer unit, we are not having a serial number associated with this piece of equipment. So this unit here is the correct backup file. I'm now going to press the enter button. At this time, it's going to ask me if, I, if I'm sure I want to proceed with this restore. At this point, I'm taking the information that was backed up onto this flash drive, and I'm exporting it from this flash drive onto the new control board after replacement. So now I've said yes, I want to confirm this backup, or this restore, rather. At this point, the restore is happening, and I'm extracting the files from this USB flash drive onto this control board. At the end of this process, once these 169 files have been transferred successfully, the unit will shut down and do a reboot feature. The reboot will count down from 10 down to zero. At that point, it will initiate another 120 second countdown and reboot the controller. Now that we're nearing the end of our countdown sequence from the 120 seconds after a restore has been done to the control board, the five minute anti-short cycle time delay will begin to initiate once again. You've successfully completed a restore and a backup onto the new control board and off of the old control board. You can now remove the flash drive from the unit control board and put it away for later use.